She'll start with Nelia Peralta leading off for the Auburn Tigers. Being able to feel those emotions. This one over to Emma Broadfoot, who's playing at third base for Alabama. 1-1 one, one to Lizenby, to right field she goes at the warning track is Larissa Pruitt, two away. Lindsay Garcia on the first pitch. Just a little bit short of going over the fence and Jenna Johnson hit the gas to get there. Ball and two strikes to Johnson. And starting out with a K is Penta. Ball and two strikes to Kahalen. Back-to-back -back Ks to start this game for Penta. This one right back at Penta. She's able to field her position well, and it's three up, three down for Alabama. There it is, first strikeout of the day for Montana Fouts, but another big hitter coming up. And do stuff like that. Two strikeouts in that inning for Montana Fouts. And Penta rings her up. Pruitt pops up, but it's in shallow right, and here comes Tresvik. Side is retired once again. We may be in the state of Alabama, but Friday was Montana Day. The governor issued it Montana <laughs> Fouts Day. That was supposed to be her senior night. They had to move it to yesterday because of the rain. But it was just so cool to see the video messages. They played this video of all these little girls talking about how much they love watching Montana Fouts. Yeah, I had to hold it together up here. One of us had to not cry up in the booth, you two. I lost it. I mean, it, what a special <laughs> day this was for Montana Fouts. It, I mean, it's bigger than the game. <laughs> Strikeout number four for Montana Fouts. Right field, McCondishy. Over the fence! Carly McCondishy hadn't had a hit in 12 games. Just took a home run off of Montana Fouts. Her second long ball of the season. Wow. 12 games. McCondishy was hitless. And if I'm being honest, the spot of this doesn't look that bad. It was down and in. Peralta to shallow center. It is going to drop. Nelia Peralta has had a hit in every game of the series. It's going to be shallow to left, and this one gets down for Lizenby. Three hits in a row for the Tigers. Outer half. And go with the change. That's a big pitch. Well, we mentioned the SEC tournament. It's going to be held at Arkansas this year. We'll have all of the games of the SEC tournament for you on our ESPN family of networks. That's why they pay me the big bucks. That's right. You know, that's what I'm saying. That's why you're up here. <laughs> Pull to Brie Ellis. And she makes the play at first. Fouts got her. Strikeout number six. Rolls it to Kahalen at short. Rhodes House crowd is going. Johnson over the head of Bryant at third, out to left field, and that is the first hit of the day for Alabama. Just like that, into center for Kinley Kahalen. Back-to-back -back hits for Bama. First pitch to right field for Shipman, and it's scooped by Tresvik. It's bobbled by Peralta. Tying run across. 1-1 one, one ball game. Got her to swing at it. Fifth strikeout by Maddie Penta today. Montana Fouts is going to win that battle with Tresvik for the second time. Strikeout number seven for Fouts.
Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Montana. Rolls it back to Montana. She'll underhand it over to Lauren Esman. Lauren Esman to the gap. She's looking for two. A double for Esman. That's her first SEC hit. Marley Giles stepping up, who struck out looking against Penta in the third. First pitch, skies it. In foul territory, and coming over is McCondishi. There goes Esman to third. She's safe. What is it set up here? The change piece. Alabama leaves the go-ahead run on third, and it's strikeout number six for Maddie Penta. Nelia Peralta, second hit of the game. She has had multi-hit performances in all three games of this series. Rolls the bunt to Broadfoot over to Dowling, and that moves the runner. Garcia reaches for it and takes a seat. Briellis to center, got the grass. Auburn back on top. No quit in Briellis' bat. It's elite hitting right here. Hensley does everything she can. White, excuse me, in center, tries to lay out to get this. She recognizes and see this pitch is not the same pitch that she just threw to Garcia. This is too close with 0-2. Bryant to the warning track. Auburn sending the runner home. Bring it on, Denver Bryant. I mean, she is on time with this pitch, not fooled by the velocity, hits it right to the warning track. I think the thing for me is, is the throw misses Kahalen. 200% energy all the time. Blade high up in the infield. Dowling underneath it. Looking towards the gap. Oh, Michaela Packer diving, but it pops out of her glove. It was a great effort attempt. Kenley Kahalen with a hit. And that's how the sixth will go to. Tenth multi-hit game of the season for Kenley Kahalen. Allie Shipman connecting. Is it deep enough? No. Into the glove of Trezvik. Johnson advances to third. It's runners on the corners. Gets her to chase. Maddie Penta fired up after that strikeout. There she goes with that rise. Kahalen's going to second. She's okay. Two in scoring position now, but a one-two count to Emma Broadfoot. Play on the field is being reviewed for batter interference on the steal. Get in the way of the good throw. She's on the plate, leans over. After review from Birmingham, the batter is going to be called out for interference. Heads up by Aubrey Lizenby to ask Mickey Dean to challenge that. So they're saying Emma Broadfoot, after her swing, got right in front of Lizenby and kept her from throwing down to second. That's the interference call. Trezvik lifting it to shallow center. It drops. Isis Trezvik with her first hit today, her second hit in the series. Here's Michaela Packer going bunt. Rolls it right back to the pitching circle. Broadfoot, look at the play from Emma Broadfoot. 2-2 two -two to McCondishi. Double figure strikeouts for Montana Fouts for the 11th time this season. She's done a really good job of hitting some tough pitches and I like the respect from Fouts to put her on. Strikeout number 11. Maddie Penta has struck out seven today. Pruitt in the infield coming in as McCondishi, one away. Such a good at bat. Runger up. 
eight strikeouts, and now Alabama is down to its final out. Hevelin gets jammed. Can she get to the grass? Packer diving in, can't hold on. Two on for Bama. Back to Penta. And they cry War Eagle in Tuscaloosa. Auburn winning its first series over its rival Alabama since 2018.